James, got a pile driver, gas powered pile driver that I'm gonna try out today. Misty actually got me this for Father's Day last year, but I haven't had a, enough post to actually put the gas in to start with because I don't want, didn't want it to gum up or anything. So I, I actually have enough posts to try it out. We'll see how well it works today. Hopefully it works pretty well. It is, it is pretty, uh, it is pretty heavy, but, but it's, well, it's probably just a little bit heavier than a regular post driver. Hopefully it'll work. I have a couple different ends, a couple different ends that go on it. This one end here has got its own spring mechanism in there. The one, uh, the other one doesn't. So we'll see. Uh, we'll see what happens, I guess. So I did a little uh, pacing off on the neighbor's fences to see what the about what everybody else puts their posts apart, and it looks like about 12 feet. You know, give or take a little because everybody paces it off by foot. But, so I'm guessing around 12 feet. So that's what I'm going to go try to go for.
So we got, it's eight o'clock in the evening now. We got about a quarter of a mile done, which is half, half the fence. The fence, as I've said, is a half mile. And we got about a quarter of the quarter mile, half the way. So, so my little machine here works pretty good. It just kind of, it kind of wears you out getting it up on top of the post to, to start, to start with. The spring loaded, the spring loaded end that I had on here has, it's had its own spring in there. You had to get it just right or it would get lopsided and wouldn't, did and it'd get kind of hung up. So I took it off and put the, just the hollow in that just uses the hammer from the hammer and uh, it works a lot better. And, uh, like I say, the only, the only drawback is getting it up on the post, but once you get up, you know, it'll, it kind of wore me out a little bit after I get, went a quarter mile, but, but it's, yeah, I pretty much had to, pretty much had to have it. Well, as you seen, pretty, quite a ways above my head. If you're short, if you're a short person, there's no way you could use it. <laughs> you'd have to stick the, you'd have to use a hand driver, stick it on the end of the post and then stand it up. But, uh. I mean, I could, I could barely reach the top of, barely reach the throttle to, to start it. Anyway, we, uh, I thought I had plenty of, I thought I'd have plenty of posts, but it's looking like I'm going to have to buy more posts. And, uh, I thought I had plenty of wire and it's looking like I may have to buy maybe three or four more rolls of wire also, but may possibly some pipe to go in between the, uh, to brace up my, uh, corner posts but uh so next time around we're gonna probably drive some steel drive some more pipe corner posts i added a piece of pipe in the center down there to keep the i've noticed people's fences will kind of lean the whole fence will lean i'm hoping if i drive a piece of pipe in the center down there to help keep it from doing that and uh kind of Oh, kind of looked at the neighbor's fences, got my idea, got ideas, but looked at fences around the country, decide how I was going to do my uh, waterway down a little ditch over here. But uh, that concludes uh, what we're going to do for tonight. James here. If you're watching The Poor Farm. If you like these videos, hit like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.